Yo, what is good, guys? This is I'm Professor Vince back here with another Dotan video for all of you. And today, we have some news to, to show you. Um, so, yeah, um, V Jump Stan has arrived, and with that, you know, some info. Um, I'll just cover Legends first. Um, Legends just saying Kai Kale, nothing else. But then again, Battle was in a, is within two days' time, so I didn't see why they didn't show much there. But moving on, um, Dokkan is, well, is what I want to focus on today. Um, as you can see here, um, the third year, the third anniversary LRs are getting their easier days, as you can see on the bottom right of the image. Thanks to DBS Hype for showing the the image of the V-Jump stands. So yeah, third anniversary LRs are getting their easier days. Obviously, these the free planes are getting their extreme Z area. No surprise there. Um, but, but I want to focus on the third anniversary LR since they're getting the extreme Z battle. Now, in return, in terms of their extreme Z battle, um, for Gogeta, for the physical Gogeta, it's most likely going to be movie bosses. It's going to be movie bosses. I don't think there's any category that can fit there, or maybe credit body of mind. Not sure. And obviously for Vegito, it's going to be either Transformation Boost or Margin Power. So that's going to be Transformation Boost or Margin Power for, for in Vegito. Or maybe, or maybe this, although it's going to be super, super unlikely, but they could probably do... They probably just made them in, merge them into one Extreme Z battle and have the category be Fused Fighters. Although that is super, super unlikely. So yeah, um... That, that's what I think their students, one of their students out Z balance is going to be. So yeah, um, in so let's see. So yeah, um, in terms of how I see their post easy day abilities, um, lead skill is going to be like their respective category, key plus four stats plus one seventy percent, I think seventy percent, and then then their type, then their, the types they lead. Key plus three stats plus one twenty percent. So for, for Gogeta, it's going to be fusion. So I think it's going to be fusion key plus four stats plus one seventy percent. Then physical key plus three stats plus one twenty percent. And then and then the same will be will probably be for Vegito, except it's for Patara and Int. So so super attack. Now, base form. Um, probably make it similar to the Tet Gogeta in S and the Strength Vegito, where they can just raise attack and defense by 30%. Attack and defense by 30% for one turn. And then have, a dam have additional damage reduction as well. Additional damage reduction as well. So, they maybe have Rainbow Orb changing as well, just to help them out as just to help them out. And then fusion conditions. Maybe I'm not sure. Probably make it from fourth time from start of battle, and maybe the HP condition probably around 77 or below. 77 percent or below. Start from the sixth turn from start of battle. 77 percent start from the fourth turn. Sorry, fourth turn from start of battle. When HP is 77% or below. So yeah, um, yeah, that's what I think what their base form is going to be. Um, physical Goji could have um, Rainbow Orb changing as well, just like the Tech Gogeta. Then I can find the base form. Make the same for these guys as well. Raise tactic defense for one turn on both supers. <coughs> Tank defense plus one turn percent. Reduce damage to by 30%. <coughs> Do rainbow orb changing. Then have the Patar fusion when when HP is 77% or below time from the fourth turn from the start of battle. So that's how it is with active, <coughs> active skills and transformations nowadays. They have to be below a certain threshold, but they're most likely going to be four turns or more. <coughs> <coughs> so, 
So yeah, um... Then, post... Post transformation... Um, let's see... Yeah, probably the same. Um... Big Bang Kamamaha... Do like raise attacking defense as well. Do like raise attacking defense as well. Probably same as Tech Gogeta in terms of super attack effects. Raise attacking defense for one turn. Then. Then, as always, fully recovers HP. Tech against all types. Um, then give Gogeta like damage reduction because if Vegito is going to be like the main damaging unit with all the counters and whatnot, the one thing I want for Gogeta is be for Gogeta is to be the defensive wall. I want Gogeta to be the defensive wall that will be that will be absorbing the super attacks, like absorbing the damage like it's nothing. <clears throat> so probably do like a damage reduction, then then have a part where it says like. If an enemy is is hit by this character's ultra super attack, like how they did for Tech Gogeta, they are like not find an arm super attack. Probably do like an additional damage reduction by I say around 20-30% from that enemy for the duration of that turn. So I say post easy day passive would be fully covers HP, attack defensive against all types, attack defense plus one percent at the start of the turn. Um, if changes ra changes key spheres of certain types of rainbow rainbow key spheres probably gain like an additional key as well probably five key five key like how they did with the tech goji and strength vegito so have and then probably foresee enemy super attacks as well <laughs> Make it like, you know, the worldwide celebration between 20 Vegeta and the Tanabada Gogeta. They have these doubt effects, both from like 10 turns each. Then if the Then if an enemy is hit by Super Gogeta's ultra super attack, the 18 key super, um probably do like an additional reduced damage received by an additional 20 to percent from their enemy for the duration of the turn. For the duration of that turn. <clears throat> so if this character hits an enemy with an ultra super attack, reduce damage received from the enemy that from that enemy that has been hit with the that has been hit with the ultra super by an additional 20 30 percent damage reduction. What makes him an extra damage sponge? As well as raising attacking defense. Raising attacking defense on the on both supers. Now for now for Int Vegito. Um, so obviously attacking defense plus one zone percent, give them thirty percent damage reduction as well. Have rainbow orb changing as well since they need rainbow key spheres as well. Since they need rainbow orbs as well. Fusion conditions same percent or below from fourth turn, as always. Then. And for these guys, maybe do like like a chance to perform additional super as well. Just get them going. Then then for Vegito. Vegito is so when they become Super Vegito, who comes HP, can attack with defense power, attack with defense plus 50%. So Big Bang Attack, Extreme, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage to enemy. Ultra Super Attack will be the final Kamamaha, raises attack and defense for one turn, makes colossal damage, raises and raises allies attack and defense by 30%. Raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. Then.
then passive will be 30 times HP, comes almost actually with tremendous power. Tank defense plus 150% at the start of turn. Probably giving like a high chance of performing a critical hit post transformation. So it'd be like times normal attack with tremendous power, attack, attack defense plus 150%. High chance of performing a critical hit. Changes key spheres of a certain time to rainbow key spheres. Key plus 3 in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. And then probably do like foresee enemy super attacks and gain additional key 5 key. Both of these guys for 10 turns have the 5 key and scout effect. And I think that's how I, how I think I should build it. So. so in terms of extreme Z battles. So now um, <laughs> this Fuse Fighters team is going to be... The Fuse Fighters team is going to be very, very stupid in terms... Just keep in mind, if they're being run on the Fuse Fighters team, they're going to be under a 200% lead simply because they're on the Kamam Hard category as well. So now that they're, being able, they're able to be ran on the 200% lead, um, um, these, these guys are going to deal stupid amounts of damage. <laughs> Yeah, the damage they're gonna deal is the damage they're gonna deal is very stupid considering they can and tank they're gonna do is very high. Especially with physical Gogeta. Indeed if then physical Gogeta, if he's gonna be built defensively, then he's gonna eat damage like it's nothing. He's gonna eat damage for lunch. Um Then with Vegeta, his counters if they add Chris into his passive his towns are gonna <laughs> deal, deal disgusting damage. Uh, yeah. Seeing, seeing they could be both ran under a 200% lead. <laughs> the damage they're gonna deal is gonna be absolutely stupid. The damage they're gonna deal is very, very stupid. <clears throat> stupid damage, stupid tanking. <laughs> and then dealing stupid damage on supers. As well as raising tactic defense, defense on both supers if they do that for the for the extreme supers, because they are getting their easy days. Um. <laughs> yeah, meaning the Fuse Fighters team is going to be very stupid because you can run the Strength Vegeta and Int Vegeta together, and the Physical Gogeta and the Tech Gogeta together. Considering that they both share the exact same link sets post transformation. Yeah, they share the exact same link set post transformation. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be. It's, the damage that you deal is very stupid. The damage that deal is very stupid. So yeah, um, Extreme Z battle, I'm not sure what the categories are going to be. Are they going to be separate or are they going to be together if they're separate? For Vegito, I think it's going to be either Margin Power or Transformation Boost. And for Gogeta, it's most likely going to be Movie Bosses. It's most likely going to be Movie Bosses, maybe even Corroded Body and Mind. I'm not so sure, but... Or maybe they can merge it together, merge them together, because that's how they've been with the other Extreme Z battles, Death and Rival Saga, and then the Gogeta, the, the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta versus Omega Shenron. Maybe this Extreme Z battle, if they're going to merge them together, they could call it Gogeta and Vegito, then just have the category be Fused Fighters. I think that's what, although I think it's going to be the former. Both of them being separate. Separate. Jim is either margin power or, or transformation boost. For Gojir, it's not like going to be moving bosses. Um, so, yeah, um, that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. enjoyed. Let me know what you think on the easy days below. And that being said, I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. Game on. This is Professor Legends. Over. And out.